Hi, I'm Douglas Ward with Title Boxing here with three division world champion Sugar Shane Mosley. Shane, how you doing? Man, I'm doing good. Good. I can't wait to fight. You're hard with preparations, right? Ah, oh, man. Heavy into the training camp. Heavy into training. Yep. I'm in Marina Ray. Uh, usually I train Big Bear, but now this one took it to Marina yep. to the to the to the ocean. So good. So how you feeling? Man, I feel great. Yeah. I feel great. I'm doing good. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it. So you you've been training your son. I want to talk a little bit about that. You you've got some experience with you and your dad. Um, how have you translated that into training your son? What, what good things have you taken into that? What have you learned from, from you and your relationship with your dad and taken it and applied it to the training of your son? I think most of the training, like with my son, um, it's just from the relationship that we have. And uh, with my father, that was the, that was the thing. Uh, we had a great relationship. We had a great uh, big brother, little brother type of bond. And with my son, uh, we also have a, a great relationship with each other. And we're able to... Uh, talk about different things at the house, meaning uh, I could I could talk to him about throwing the left hook with the right hand, the way to throw it, uh, slips, ducks, uh, side to side, and it actually helps me as well. Uh, sometimes I will have my son in the ring or as the playing the coach, and I'll be playing the fighter. So we, we, switch, we switch roles. So and that's a, that's another good uh, technique, a good role to teach him. You know, if you keep your right hand up, your left hook, he can tell me if I'm throwing my right hand or left hook or not throwing enough jabs. Yeah. And then he can kind of realize. So it's, it's a good thing. Now some fighters don't make great trainers because they're not able to communicate and, and really, they do it naturally. It's intuitive for them. So they can't really, they're not really great teachers because they don't know why they do what they do. Right. They just do it. Yeah. And they, they don't pay attention to what's going on. And I think that with uh, my son telling me and watching me do different things, telling me different things that I may be doing wrong. Um, it actually teaches him that no, you're not supposed to do that because I, I can see it, I identify it, that's not the right way, and that's why he's able to tell me that. So, I mean, I think he's going to be a great, excellent trainer. A lot of the fighters I work with, I work with a lot of different fighters. I work with uh, you know, Demora Tuz, who's getting ready to fight uh, in the Knockout Series 2, uh, Rocco Santamato, he's fighting also in the Rocco um, Knockout Series 2, and um, they do the same thing. When I'm sparring, you know, I can hear. Uh, I can hear Demar saying, "Come on, coach, you got to more jabs. You got to stay movement. You got to stay moving." You know, that's the stuff I tell him, and uh, and it works because he's getting better and better. He knows what not to do. Yeah, and you're in, you're in the unusual position. Usually, a guy in that stage of his career, teaching his kid, teaching other fighters, they're done. You're still fighting. So how do you balance? How do you balance the two? It, it's hard because I love the sport so much. It's kind of like uh, the old karate movies where you have the the sensei or the you know the grandmaster. He still knows how to do his moves and. With the with the with the younger guys and and but he's a teacher as well, you know. So I guess I'm like the grandmaster, if you will. Well, you're a veteran of the game. You've been doing this for ever. Probably yeah. feels like. Yes. Um, so do you ever get tired of answering the questions about age, about retirement? When you get tired, when you're going to quit? That's got to get old after a while, yeah, right? Yeah, when you quit, when you quit, they 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 run it into the into the ground. I'm like, it's not time for me to quit yet. When it's time, then I'll know. I just won't do it anymore. When I when I spar with my guys that I'm training and or I'm sparring with like world champions like Sean Porter and I'm not able to move or do the things I need to do, then it's time for me to, to quit. But when I'm still doing very good in the ring, I mean Kenny, his own father told you that, you know, maybe I'm a little faster than Sean is. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear, right? Yeah, his own father good, yep. his own father says that so it means that I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. I think it's awesome. I mean, as long as you can fight, you're competitive, and you're putting on a good show, why not keep Why not keep having a career? Why not, not keep doing it? You yeah. know, I can do it. I, can, I still have speed. I still have power. And um, I still have the know-how to do the things that I do. So I might as well keep on going. Yeah. Looking back on your fight, mm -hmm. there's one I know a lot of guys don't have a lot of regrets, regrets or they don't want to look back. If you could look back and you could fight one fight a little bit differently, do something different in the fight to change the outcome, what fight would that be? I mean, there's there's a couple of fights, and I think that preparation in the beginning is the key. You know, with, before you enter the fight. So I would have to say, not been injured before I went to a fight and fought. And that way, I can do the things that I need to do, and you know, I can give myself the you know 100% chance of winning instead of you know maybe 50% chance or 60% chance because I wasn't at 100%. Okay, so we got this fight coming up. We've seen my Orga Mosley before. Yes. What are we going to see that's different this time? What can we expect? Uh, probably an early knockout. That that probably be the difference. I mean, we, I had a knockout with one second to go in the twelfth round. Uh, this time, yeah, it might not go maybe five rounds. 
So we're seeing a new improved Shane Mosley. It's a new improved and a healthy yeah. and a happy Shane Mosley. Yeah, we're, ha we're happy to have you in the business. Thank you brought us a lot of great fights, and I know there's more to come. I'm happy to be back. You know, I have my, my, uh, my pro promotional company, Gold Box Promotion, and it's going to be coming to you guys real soon, real big. Awesome. Thanks, Shane. Thank Appreciate you. it.